Okay, for this one, for this juvenile um, blue tit sketch, I'm going to use this white arches paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually give it this ground, which is a very light wash. I'm using a cerulean and a little bit of ochre in that. And it just creates this very soft, muted grey. And now I'm waiting for that paint to just dry a little bit so that sheen once it becomes matte, I will be able to work into it a little bit. So two questions. One, why make a grey colour? Well, I want to contrast with a kind of vibrant yellow of the, of the juvenile blue tit. And this is a kind of soft colour that is going to be completely opposite of the vibrant yellow. Secondly, if you want grey, why not just make it out of black with water? Um, well, this, this has all these blues and yellows in it as a much more interesting, um, a much more um, sophisticated colour. And yeah, so the grey, grey made just with black is quite dead. Whereas this, oh, the sheen's just about gone there. The grey is just much more interesting, much more kind of wintry in the way that it looks. Okay, so the key thing is going to be about here. I'm just going to lift out an area, stab it out. And that's where, yeah, that's where the yellow's gonna go. So working wet into wet now, all that I'm gonna do is just that. Creating this yellow, and just letting it run a little bit away from where the bird is. Okay, that's the effect I want. And just as it's drying now and again, I just drop in a little more yellow. And I'm going to sketch now, just using the brush to, to draw a line. Um, and I'm, I'm, I've left the, the paint just very slightly damp. And I'm just going to see where these marks take the picture. But... I reckon, so this is just the body, I reckon I can bring the whole thing together like this. So this is um, this good cerulean and cerulean blue and a bit of black in it just to this which I'm sketching with. So I've got to this stage and now I'm thinking I'll put in the the twig that it's hanging on to. And I think it's going to be, I'm just going to use this thin wash to describe this branch. This working wet into wet is about timing and now, before it completely dries, it's time to go in with some of this yellow. The dappling off the trees. And I left this to last because I didn't want the colours in the head to run too much, but the chick here is going to have this yellow through here and the back. There we go. Okay, so I like this, but there's a couple of bits which just seem too, uh, too well defined at the moment. So the, the leg here and the back, um, I think on a bird that's hopping around, moving around, you wouldn't really notice those edges. So I'm just working into that, softening them. And this is where the light kind of eats through these shapes. You know, if you've got light behind it, which is happening here. So I'll work back into it. I'm just softening those a little bit just now, like that. Give it a couple of seconds and then dab into it. And that lifts out. So yeah, I like that better. And I'm using white again, just to work really, really sharp into 
some of the edges. Okay, and now I can work back into these 